When scientists discovered that man-made chemicals used in our daily lives were creating a massive hole in the ozone layer, governments and decision makers realized they had to act. 99% of ozone-depleting chemicals have been phased out of production, and the 2022 quadrennial reports by the assessment panels to the Montreal Protocol released in 2023 confirmed that ozone layer recovery is on track, with ozone expected to return to 1980 values by around the middle of this century. But in phasing out ozone-depleting chemicals, we switch to hydrofluorocarbons, HFCs, as an alternative. While HFCs don't harm the ozone layer, they are potent climate-warming greenhouse gases, some thousands of times more warming than CO2. Nearly 80% of all HFCs globally are used for cooling, keeping us comfortable and our food and medicines fresh. But cooling is energy intensive, accounting for 10% of all global electricity consumed. Knowing this, and how climate has already benefited from phasing out ozone-harming chemicals, the parties to the Montreal Protocol knew they needed to react. The Kigali Amendment came into force in January 2019. More than 150 countries have already ratified the amendment to phase down these climate-damaging HFCs and replace them with greener alternatives. Scientists estimate this can avoid up to 0.5 degrees Celsius of global warming by the end of the century. If energy efficiency technology in cooling also improves at the same time as phasing down HFCs, scientists estimate the climate benefits could double. If this is applied to cold chains and they become more accessible and affordable, farmers, particularly in poorer countries, can get more of their produce fresh to markets, avoiding food loss and improving their livelihoods, all of which contribute to climate change mitigation. On this World Ozone Day, we celebrate the Montreal Protocol that has for decades been fixing the ozone layer while also reducing climate change. It has become a symbol of hope. Hope that we can once more cross the many divides and find solutions to some very serious global environmental issues.